What has happened in the last two games as you take a look at the ten gentlemen who will begin this ball game. Well, Coach Joe Michigo going with that same five that uh, started the last game and uh, joining you San Mangrinara Roan Sabansana then two bit fires and connects. You know, last night I was in Cebu, but uh, we really relished that game. Uh, well fought to the very end. Held back. Now, this is a placing start by Vienebra. Connect thought about too much. Tenorio, nobody to run along with him. He says, let's try this. Well, you get into trouble. A bit of a give and go, which is an adjustment actually on the play. They shoot with seven remaining, and they knock that in. It's a long two. And those three guards working well for Barangay Ginebra. They're the first three scorers for their team. And Bob so might as well uh, try a new. Here's Meng driving hard. Saw a bit of daylight. Kulang pasem. Gusto ko pa. Tatlo pa siguro. Thanks, Seb. You know, I asked assistant coach Juno Soler the secret to their wins in games three and four. And he said that they didn't make any adjustments for tonight's game. He never will apply the same defensive strategy, help mismatches in the post, and switch from man to zone or zone to man when needed for their offense. They want to. Yes, and uh, that's uh, the van scoring earlier, making it 12 to 7. But he never has off to a very good start. And the, four, and the rest of the guards really contributing right now. LA down the middle. We go, what an angle. In the opening 12 minutes near steel, completed steel. LA Tinardo is gone. LA, LA. LA those top three that we had outlined earlier. Miller wiggles open, glass shot. Here's Miller with that hop along dribble of his and the sudden explosion. Nice fake through a Baggio, and Baggio will pay for it double. He didn't stop the shot and got a foul as well. This is probably that one guy that wants to win it the most. Of course, moving over to the Jin Kings Justice Conference. Traded to that guy. Over to Boggy. Nice tail. Gone. And look tonight, man. Those last two games, of course, didn't want to go with, uh, go with that uh, for long as L.A. Tenorio pockets that one been able to do that not exactly the most uh, prestigious club to be part of as Miller continues to burn the hoop he has 13 and whenever he goes for the ball as Tenario fires you were saying he's the energy man and continues to be so for Alaska and so far it's been the L in the first two games of the series where they played about 11 or 12 guys they're really shuffling their cards in the uh, beginning in the meantime this is rare we see men you cannot give a team like Ginebra 26 points in a quarter. In Tal, using his radar, spies his talent. Mentioned that he's got a little competence and because he got into an injury, but now that he's back, except for the month of playoffs. Quarter, Jason. Well, obviously, not a lot of things went well for them. Only 17 points on the board. Could not contain Barangay Ginebra. But right there, you can see. Is it the pass off? He was bothered. It's a three on two. Being shaped by Tinoria. Trailing job. Sets up. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Got a foul as well. Defense. You get a chance to go on a fast break. That's an excellent pass on the part of LA. And hello, JC and Tal. And that was excellent point work, point guard work by Tenorio. Okay, let me get the import more in five minutes a game in this series. So very critical when these three, one of these three guys on the bench. And down. hits a three. Yes, it goes to comply top of the keyhole. He'll pop from right of the elbow. No. And inside we go. Top angle to work with. Makes it nonetheless. Rangel hooked up him. And for a lap. Rudy Hatfield, the unit. For John Wichiko and Barangay Never had to find himself in the clear. Can't blame Alaska right there. Alaska just. 6.55 to go. Wide open attempt. And Kablai with a threat. With a basket. It's an explosive game here tonight in game five. Hatfield from 10. Boy, this is a sending a bad signal to Alaska Miller. Crossover. 
back to Villanueva. Eight on the shot clock. Finally got an angle on that one. Carriasso. The Vance. Joe Vance. In Ebra, they've, got, they've had some good runs within this game. And the Sunday special on a Sunday. Tenorio has had to work hard for his shot, setting them up. And Baggio tries to get his own game going. Five-point game, Daniels bumping, grinding, and scoring. They're going to need... He actually does that job. In the meantime, the Vance pockets oh. it, yes. And look at Tim Tom jumping like a little boy who just... And uh, that's been the, those are the good signs for them so far in the game. Look at how this three on two turns out. And this ball game is tied after he never led by. Uh, from behind, the pressure is on Bar uh, the Barangay He Never Kings. He likes the execution of the Alaska Aces. And he just said, you know what, if you get the. Uh, they're being given a lot of open looks with the threes. So if they get that, just. It when they went out at halftime, Bagas tries to get his scoring act together. Janet Simpson already with a double-double, 11 points, 12 boards, as well as five blocks. That oh. is going to bite, and John Wichico has seen enough. 12-2 to two run by the Aces, a fiery start, and here comes Daniels, push shot, connects. Probably not the shot that... Uh... And second chance scoring of Alaska. No easy baskets was his turn reminder for their offense. He wants his boys to limit their turnovers and to rotate them. Yeah, courtside reporters like Jiggy and Jessica, and they put nice captions on the situation. That happened there. This one is a twirling dipsy do by a center. Time. Baguio. Three-point Alaska lead. L.A. Tenorio. I wonder if Gus Vargas, the trainer of that team will work on that in the meantime Baggio is beginning to feel good in the meantime here's Baggio already has come alive with 14 oh. make that 16 hey, Baggio! Three point, that three point shot is working and when you know he's hitting it from the outside it's just a tough guard right there for Sa anybody sabi ng mga bata di baling no classes wag lang brown out here by Tubin Baggio recovers Kablai, pressure back shot, tip in, Simpson. Daniels tries to amble inside. That gentle hook finds its way by 100. Devance lets it fly. Simpson creating no angle to work with. Oh, those who jump will usually... Now, but he will be back in the fourth quarter. Seven, Jason. Thanks a lot, Cheska. And, uh, and bukas na sakit niyan. He'll worry about that tomorrow. Uh, they, they're due to have a good run here in the fourth quarter. They had a good run in terms of scoring in the first, but since that time, they've been very quiet. The right group together. I, I sense that uh, Hinebra is due to have a good run. And in the meantime, here, the Baraga Hinebra fans, they're just waiting for something to cheer about. And they're waiting for their team to give them something just like that, what Meg gave, gave them. Miller. Oh, put a spin on the ball. For a basket earlier. Baggio goes to Carriazzo. Nice extra pass, just gonna nail it. Here's Toss who gets it to curl in. Drop in and Sonny Toss has rather another rebound. Baggio against three. Oh, what a move. Evasive tactics. And he's 18, working alongside uh, Denorius 22, that will drop in. Jason and Tiggy have complete awareness of the, how the game is evolving for both our coaches here. Mank is going to work. We're tied. Saritas goes out, Joe Devant, not a good matchup for Eric Mank. Eric Mank spins away from Joe Devant. I believe in a large fashion when it was 13 28 15 and both teams missing and simpson has or, or score on the other side si simpson ay tumatao kay daniel hello i saw that cut coming out from the baseline was so neatly alaska with a five-point edge miller to the wide open too big yes 
that botched place in terms of the offense and some shots that wouldn't just go in. Simpson, oh, drops it. Miller thought about it. It's a drop inside, over and out to Hatfield. Except that. And Simpson starting to work with six seconds of the shot clock. Bobby, a quick release. Yes, oh. huge shot. You're right, Zeb. That's a huge shot because. Benario attacking against Helterbrand as the shot clock comes down to four. Benario lets it go. Oh. Big, big shots being made by the battery. Uh huh. Too close. Too close, too congested. And the shot clock now might be a problem, but Miller says, I'm here. Chris Daniels, too big. Helterbrand will go straight to the hole, but over here, shoot, there's a follow-up. That worked. It's a two-point game. Watch it. Take away. Three for the lead. Yes! And listen to Barangay, he never roared. It was actually Simpson that popped the ball inside the ring. And then JJ held around, riding the wave, hitting that three points on his first basket. Jason and I, because we are being covered, Denorio, they can't attack. They're looking at the shot clock down to four. They have to shoot somewhere, somehow. Wow. Alaska found the way. Wow. Alaska found the way. Wow, talk about breaking your heart at the very last second. Anthony, that was going nowhere, and it was panic mode, it looks like, but then under pressure, they delivered. Five seconds. The inbound to Mank. Mank will make a turn, go up with nothing. It's all ball, it's all ball. One second remaining, no foul called. There was a foul, I guess, against... Eric Mack. And he never a player, yes. And Alaska. I think that's point one. If that's yes. point one, we're yes. done. Yes. And look at this, Helterbrand falling to the floor in dejection and disappointment. Long face on the side of Mank, and it is all over. Alaska sets a date with talk and text. The Sires got these two free throws, but we're done. It's all about just what we're, we're going to print in the papers in terms of what the final score is. And look at team manager Waki Trillo enjoying this moment. You know, can't take anything away from the big shot of J.J. Helderbrand, but the poise of Alaska, which you had underscored in your webpage, so critical in this game. It was a game that they could have lost at that moment also, as we see the pain. The